Mystery new parasite causing explosive diarrhea? Yep, that's in the news. A mysterious parasitic illness has struck dozens of North Carolina residents. In fact, over 135 cases of cyclosporiasis have been confirmed. This intestinal illness is notorious for causing explosive diarrhea, bloating, and vomiting. Not that we need one more cause of these issues that so many are suffering from. The first cases emerged in May, and they're looking into restaurants being the likely culprit, but probably contaminated herbs and vegetables. So what is it? Cyclosporiasis is caused by a microscopic parasite, and it's typically treated with antibiotics, which we're going to talk about in a minute. But when the food or water contaminated with this parasite is consumed, it triggers the illness. Symptoms can range from diarrhea with explosive bowel movements to loss of appetite, weight loss, stomach cramps, and many also experience bloating, nausea, fatigue, vomiting, back aches, headaches, fever, other flu-like symptoms. So why am I talking about this? We're not all living in North Carolina. It's probably handled by now. It's a reminder that parasites are part of our ecosystem. They're part of our daily dietary intake, especially if you're eating pork, sushi, contaminated vegetables, if you're traveling to other countries. So what are the signs to look for other than the ones that I mentioned? Fatigue, depression, apathy, unexplained weight loss, itchy genitals, especially in the rectum at night. So make sure you're taking note of that one. Worms in your stool, bloating, nausea, constipation, or diarrhea, never feeling full after eating, teeth grinding, so it's not just from stress that you're grinding your teeth, skin irritations, rashes, or eczema. So you can do testing, you can do that, but you also want to be um, proactive with parasites. Everyone's got them whether there's a, it's a, a, a under control, small infestation in your body and you don't know about it, or it's something like the one we're talking about, you don't want to necessarily do antibiotics. Antibiotics kills bacteria, not parasites. And so if you do that, those antibiotics are going to kill you the good bacteria, cause leaky gut and dysbiosis, and probably not take care of the one thing you're trying to take care of. You want to make sure you're washing your hands, obviously, after using the restroom, right? That um, parasites can spread easily through contact. Peel your fruits and your vegetables, especially if you're out of the country, and try for the organic food in the U.S., okay? So this might eliminate some of the exposure to these parasites. Parasites thrive on certain foods, so cut out the sugar, refined carbs. Part of the reason you have those cravings for sugar, if you have parasites in there, they're saying, feed me, feed me, and they're not going to give up until you start feeding them. So those processed foods are a big problem. Juices, dairy, grains, pork. Two of my kids got Giardia from um, eating those yummy pork ribs at a restaurant, and it's the gift that keeps on giving until you are proactive and just try to kill it. Sushi, that's a big, a big one for, for parasites. So you want to focus on the organic wild meats, the veggies, um, some of the foods like garlic, pumpkin seeds, pomegranates, beets, apple cider vinegar, carrots are known to help kill parasites, but you really need to be proactive with supplements. And this is where we came up with the accelerated parasite cleanse. The supplements in there are to work synergistically to knock out an, a weak or a strong parasite infestation in your body. We start out with the artistatin, and this is a herb, Chinese herbal blend that targets amoeba and other parasites, even those that cause malaria and giardia. It relieves inflammation, improves circulation, helps with symptoms like nausea and diarrhea from the contaminated food. The aloe 22 works with the artistatin, and it addresses the chronic intestinal parasites, infections, and constipation. It includes black walnut hulls, which is known for parasites, and those together work very well together. So the artistatin might make you a little more constipated. The aloe 22 makes you a little more um, loose. So depending on how you run, you would up one or the other to help balance out your bowel movements. Then of course the Accelerodyne. 
Excelerdine iodine, we know it's amazing for your thyroid, your metabolism, fat oxidation, brain fog, cellular health. We need it for the cell membrane. We need it in the cell to increase ATP and energy. We need it outside the cells to clean the blood and let the liver do its job and help balance that estrogen dominance, all of those things. But guess what else? Iodine is known as an antiparasitic, antiviral, antibacterial, antifungal, anti all, right? So we used it in this during the Spanish um, 19, 18, 19, 1918 flu to help with that virus. And that was before antibiotics and all of the stuff that we use today. So iodine is known. It's also known for being antiparasitic. And I actually had a, a, a scar on my arm since fourth grade and parasites love to hide in scar tissue. So what I did is I actually used the accelerated castor oil with the accelerated iodine mixture and I put it on my scar and I used my gua sha tool to rub up and down and break up the scar tissue. Within an hour, I had this rash come out and that was the parasites trying to escape. I stirred them up and they didn't like it. And within a day, the rash was gone, the scar tissue was less and the parasites were gone. So this that's just showing you how strong iodine is as an antiparasitic. We add in the accelerated colloidal silver, which is a blend of nano and colloidal silver enhanced with scalar frequencies. So there's no silver out there like it with that efficacy. And it helps boost the immune system, target the parasites, bacteria, and viruses. So guess what? Ivermectin is an actual antiparasitic. Why are they using it for other reasons? Because if you have parasites, your body can't fight off other viruses and bacteria because it's fighting over something over here and it gets sideswiped by the common flu bug or we're going back into school season, right? And this is when our kids are going to come home with stiff, snuffly noses and colds and one week in, they're already homesick and we are ready to get them out of the house after this summer. So that accelerated colloidal silver is part of the regimen that your kids can be taking on a daily basis to keep them healthy so that they don't catch what everyone else has but it also helps with the parasites so the immune system can fight the other stuff that it's being bombarded with the accelerated cellular detox powder in the cleanse is a mix of micronized zeolite unlike any other zeolite dimitaceous earth, activated charcoal, triphala, and slippery elm. And we have put in there um, the chitosan that helps take out excess dietary fat and excess cholesterol from our diet out of our body. And a lot of people are suffering from higher levels of cholesterol due to the spike protein, what we've been all under for the last four years. So that is um, something that's very helpful, but it's soaking up the toxins, the, the parasites that they're dying and getting them out of the body very quickly. So you don't have those detox flu symptoms that so many experience. We add in also the accelerated ancient salt. Salt is known to pull out positively charged toxins, parasites, and undigested fats. Just by putting a little on your tongue, you're going to help with that nausea that you might have from a backed up liver or a parasitic infection. It is very helpful. It also is great to put in your pre-workout to get extra energy during your workout and for putting on your food because it tastes better than any other salt. It has 62 minerals. It's helping hydrate the intracellular hydration. It's helping with that sodium potassium pump inside and outside the cell. And it also works with that iodine and helping the iodine get into the cells and kick out the toxins and do so without those detox flu symptoms. So hopefully this is helpful. A reminder that we need to be proactive with parasites. Every one of you is walking around with parasites in you. Uh, my whole family have gotten scans over the last uh, few months Every single one of us have parasites. I don't eat pork. I don't eat sushi very often. Um, and we're pretty clean, right? But we still have parasites. Did I have any symptoms? No, but when I was doing the parasite cleanse, I just finished last week, there was stuff coming out of me that's not normal. So that is a sign that the parasitic cleanse, the accelerated parasitic cleanse is going to help 
cleanse your body of those things and those little buggers that are not meant to be there. So hopefully this was helpful, a good reminder that you need to be proactive with your health today in this modern world. And if you need my help, you don't know where to start, it's overwhelming, reach out to me at sarahbantehealth.com. Happy to put together a protocol for you. Join my free group coaching on Telegram. There's no downside. I share daily tips and tools to improve your health, answer your questions. You'll be surrounded by an amazing community of people who are on a similar path and there's more information at sarahbantahealth.com. Don't forget to follow me on social media at Accelerated Health Products, and you can catch this podcast on over 100 platforms. Just search Accelerated Health, Sarah Banta. I'm there. And remember, I'm live every Monday and Tuesday. A bonus one is posted Thursdays, so make sure you're subscribing so you get notified. You can use coupon WELCOME10 to get 10% off site-wide if you want to try any of these supplements we've talked about and to be proactive with your health. Thanks again for joining us here and have a great week.